Abraham Lincoln. In November 1863, a great number of people attended a memorial service in order to commemorate those who had died in the Civil War. Soon, a tall middle-aged man wearing whiskers stood on the platform and began to deliver an address. We should make this country a country of freedom and equality so that government of the people, by the people, for the people, should take root on this earth. The people shouted for joy all at once. The man was Abraham Lincoln, the 16th President of the United States, who emancipated the slaves in the country. A baby's cry resounded throughout a small cabin in Kentucky in the United States in February 1809. People of the village went to the cabin to celebrate the birth of the baby. The baby's father lifted him and said, I'll name him Abraham Lincoln after his grandfather. He'll surely be a great man like his grandfather. Lincoln's family was very poor. Being unusually tall, he helped his father on the farm from his childhood. His father thought highly of his son because the farm work was tough. Although his family was poor, he could not go to school with the help of his mother. Lincoln enjoyed studying a lot, but when his father was busy doing plenty of work, Lincoln helped him instead of studying. One day, there was an epidemic called milk disease going around the village. Lincoln's mother also died of the disease. His family was deeply distressed by her death. Things were in a mess, and his father neglected his farm work. Nothing's going to be okay in this situation. I'll get your new mother. Wait for a while. His father came home with a new mother after a long while. She did the housework very hard and got a lot of books for Lincoln. The atmosphere was cheerful again in his family, and Lincoln was absorbed in reading books. Lincoln's father disapproved of him because he was only reading books instead of working hard in the field. And one day, his father decided to sell out his land. No, Daddy, this contract is wrong. Lincoln's father could keep his land thanks to Lincoln's help. Afterwards, his father helped Lincoln read and study. Soon Lincoln became a young man and went to city, where he got a job. Working in a store, he was liked by everyone because of his honesty and correct calculation. As a result, his store was crowded with customers every day. One day, a strong, troublesome villager, Armstrong, picked a fight with Lincoln. They had a fair fight, and Lincoln defeated Armstrong. Then Armstrong bought a group of his fellows and surrendered to Lincoln. They became close friends. One day, Lincoln was sent on an errand and chanced to see black people being sold and bought on the slave market. Some people are being traded and used as slaves just because they are of a different race. That must not be done. He never forgot the cruel scene for a long time. Lincoln ran for a state assembly on the recommendation of his friend Armstrong and some other people around him. After running unsuccessfully for a state assembly twice, he was elected to a state assembly. When people asked him his job, he always answered, 
I'm a farmer. After becoming a state assembly member, he studied law as he had wanted to since a long time ago, and he passed the bar examination. He worked as a defense lawyer in favor of honest people and provided them with legal advice if they had done something wrong. Lincoln set up a new happy home after marrying a beautiful woman called Mary Todd, and he was elected to U.S. Congress some time later. Now, I want to make my political activity more beneficial to the people. Lincoln left for Washington, the district of politics, with his family. Lincoln ran as a Republican candidate for the presidency in the presidential election and grew whiskers after receiving a letter from a little lady called Grace. His whiskers improved his image much better. At last, Lincoln was elected the 16th president of the United States at the age of 51. As president, Lincoln insisted more strongly that the slaves should be emaciated. After all, a war broke out between the people of the northern regions of the United States and the people of the southern regions. It was the Civil War. The war lasted for a long time until the military of the northern regions won a victory. But Lincoln didn't hold the military of the southern regions responsible for anything wrong, and the unfairly treated black slaves were emancipated. After the end of the Civil War, there were rumors of a plot to assassinate Lincoln. In April 1865, he attended an event held in the Ford's Theater. Suddenly, there was a loud bang from a gun, and Lincoln fell down. Next morning, Lincoln died at the age of 56. Although he was born as a poor farmer's son and didn't receive regular education, he held fast to the principle of honesty and right beliefs and carried out the great emancipation of the slaves. Lincoln remains forever in people's memory as a great president of the United States.